Dr. Med. So hopefully, hopefully he'll see this. Jump back on. Let me message him right now. So we are in the middle of Spilled Milk Sundays, and if you guys can hear, I have kids in the background making noise, and this is Sunday. Grab your mimosa, grab your coffee. We're halfway through the episode with Dr. Langer, so hopefully he jumps back on and we can wrap it up. He was talking about his amazing business and app, BBY. Okay, I'm just waiting for him so I can invite him. I'm waiting for him. <laughs> Um, on. I'm messaging right now. So we are in the middle of hot topic, selling breast milk versus donating breast milk. And it's a big deal because there's this whole industry around um, donating breast milk, but there's also this new budding industry for moms to sell and buy their breast milk. Okay, let me invite him in. Time to wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, I just stopped. I was like, oh, we were in a really good conversation. I don't know what happened there. I know, I know. Okay, so why don't you just, we were talking about your app and your business and the comparison between uh, moms buying their breast milk and donating breast milk and your experience with it with your business. Yeah, you know, I think you know, when, uh, when, it, when it comes to buying versus sell, uh, donating, it, uh, it really comes down to, you know, your own personal opinion on it. As well as uh, you know what what you want to uh, accomplish with this, I uh, when you donate your milk to a milk bank, you know you you are rest assured that it is going towards premature infants, you know, and yep. that is a very important uh, as subset of uh, of infants. They are the most at risk at the time, you know, um, but in general, what ends up happening is that you are essentially feeding into uh, the milk bank's uh, bottom line. They, make a, they mm -hmm. make a lot of money with this, even if they, you know, are not for profit. Uh, yeah. But again, you know, we don't compete with the milk banks because I firmly believe that those are two very separate industries, you know. However, when mm -hmm. you donate, you go to premature infants. But people, uh, what about the other infants, you know, that are not premature, that are very healthy babies but don't have access to yeah. breast milk? We all know that breast milk is the ultimate nutrition for infants. Uh, shouldn't every infant get that opportunity? And if there's a parent willing to pay for your services, essentially, if you consider yourself mm -hmm. as a modern day wet nurse, almost, you know, I yeah. feel like you should be able to be paid for your service in that regard. So that's the difference, mm -hmm. really. You know, we cater to the 99%, not the 1% of babies. You know, 1% of babies come out premature, they come early, and, you know, they need the help that uh, the hospital system affords them. But 99% mm -hmm. of babies are born healthy, and they need that extra boost, and they need nutrition just like everyone else. Yeah, so if a mom wanted to go through the process with your with your business and your app, how would they do it? How would they go about oh, doing it? Oh, it's very simple. You uh, download the app on your uh, iPhone or your Android device. Uh, it's called BBY Milk Sharing. And what happens is you sign up. If you're a buyer, you simply sign up, you put your credit card information in, and you're taken to the home page. And then you can simply request, say you need 100 ounces this week. Or, you know, we have uh, some of our homosexual men who are customers buy all of their milk through our company. So they buy about 175 or 200 ounces a week. Some moms who work full time, I have that, uh, they send their kids to daycare while they work in the corporate setting, might buy 50 ounces, 100 ounces, just so that while they're at work, they don't have to worry about pumping because uh, their child has their own milk. Um, in general, but if you are a seller, you go on, and what happens is you get emailed a screening form. And it's very simple. You take it to your physician uh, or, or your child's pediatrician, whoever has access to your medical records. They download mm -hmm. the form. They, they sign the form. They fill it out, make sure that you're healthy, and then you get a blood test. The blood test lets us know that you don't have any transmittable diseases or hard drugs that might be uh, susceptible to transmission through breast milk. Yeah. Uh, after the blood test is done, it comes to our secure HIPAA server. So we have a secure server. One of our one of the medical professionals or trained members on staff will review the documents, and then mm -hmm. you'll be approved. 
It's a very simple process. I know it takes about a week or so because you have to get to the hospital or you have to get to the clinic. You have a kid. I get all that. But take your time with it. You get it. And then every 30 days, and we do it for a reason for 30 days, uh, there's a yeah. very low rate of uh, you know people uh, having recidivism in uh, disease transmission if they are uh, tested every 30 days or something. Along with that, mm-hmm. they also have... Um, excuse me, they, the parents have to go to the hospital for the most part every 30 days with their little child anyways. So it makes it easy. You go take care of your child and you get your blood test. Um, and that way, you know, we know that you're perfectly, uh, your, your milk is safe and uh, easy to use for any child. And then you also get the satisfaction knowing that, hey, you are safe and healthy. So it's a very simple process. And then once you're on, you simply input how much milk you have at any given time. And you can update that every day if you'd like, every week, however you like to do it. And you will get matched with people every day, every week, uh, who need milk. And you communicate wow. entirely through the app. Everything you do is on the app. And um, you, we give you locations, uh, safe locations that we've curated in, in your city to meet at. Mm-hmm. And you just find a time to meet. And that's it. That's awesome. <laughs> so I love the fact that the, the process is not, you know, overbearing. And it kind of uh, melds in with your life. Like exactly. You can, Going to the doctor, you get your blood tested, and then you submit it to your company for review in order to be part of, in order to participate. So I think that process is so. Absolutely, um, you know, it's hard enough raising a child. You know, it's a stressful situation. You know, you're always on as a mom or a dad. You always have to be on. Yeah. So we didn't want to make this uh, complicated. You know, we wanted to make this as streamlined as possible and easy as possible to make sure that you get what you need to get. Yeah, that's fantastic. So how can moms find you? How can they find you? How can they find the app? What, what yeah, they uh, it's very simple. You can check out our Facebook page, uh, BBY Cares. Uh, we uh-huh. also have a Instagram page where we post a lot of fun stuff. Also BBY Cares. BBY Cares is our uh, social media handle throughout. So Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And then on the app store in your particular device, we are BBY Milk Sharing. That is the name of the app. Uh, you can download it. And uh, if you have any questions for us, shoot us a line uh, either on social media or we have a 24-hour help desk in our app as well. So if you send a message on there, there will be more than likely someone answering your question within 15 to 20 minutes. Awesome. So I want to thank you so much. I know you have a busy day ahead of you with the event. Thank you for being our guest. We are going to post the link and all the information in the comments section for everybody. And all, this video will go up on YouTube and our website for Mom to replay later on. So I want to thank you so much, Dr. Thank Langer. you, Bria. I really appreciate Enjoy. it. Talk thank today. you, everyone. I'm... Have a great day. Okay, thank you. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye.